First, if you did not watch the previous film, I will leave you a link in the first comment. Follow it because this story is a continuation of the previous ones. Don't forget to subscribe and like and let's get started. The episode begins on the planet Beerus, which seems peaceful at first. Suddenly, the entire planet and the surrounding area begin to shake, causing the destruction of Beerus' home and possessions. Beerus shouts for Goku, claiming that he has just regained this planet, and does not want to lose it again. We see the cause of this destruction, and it appears that Goku and Vegeta took training with Broly, who became a key member of Goku's team. Broly has achieved a good level and has mastered Ultra Instinct. Goku's intention was to make him king of a region on the basis that he would be beneficial. Then Goku answers saying, Hey Beerus, why did you make me stop? I was about to finish my warm-up. Do you want to join a fight or something? Was this just your warm-up? This is unacceptable. When you were training with Whis, I could tolerate your sabotage, but now I cannot tolerate your presence with this force. It has become too much. At this moment, Whis intervened, impressed by Goku's new strength with which he got rid of the traitorous future Zeno, and said to Goku, You guys are really interesting people. You were a level weaker than me, and from day to day I see you now with a strength that rivals my father. In fact, the young Raditz who died fighting with you on Earth still boggles my mind. It is truly terrifying to think about what would have happened if he had survived and gotten rid of you. Goku started thinking about the name Raditz and where he heard that name from. It seems very familiar to him. Goku spoke, wondering if he was that green man who fought in the other world tournament, claiming that he was very strong. Whis and Vegeta were left speechless in amazement at Goku's bad memory and answered verbatim. You're talking about Pickin in the first place. And Raditz is your real brother. How can you not remember him? He was the reason you first died. He was one of your strongest enemies. Someone you couldn't beat without Piccolo's help. Honestly Goku sometimes I wonder if you think about your family that much. What made you forget him? How could I forget an older brother than me? It was really powerful. I was really beaten by him and the earth was going to end in ruins. I have a great idea. I have to go visit Raditz and I bet him, he would be insanely powerful. After all he was probably miles ahead of me in strength. He might have surpassed Super Saiyan 3 or maybe Super Saiyan 4 or 5. Imagine if he was stronger than Vegeta. I have to go and see this. Vegeta was upset by this decision and had no intention of meeting Raditz. But he said. Listen Kakarot, Raditz isn't a closed part of hell. You are not allowed to enter there without permission. You are not dead. Going to a place like hell while you are alive will make King Yama go crazy. Don't waste your time. If he's like you, he's probably forgotten who you are too. Goku smiled and completely ignored Vegeta's words, saying that in any case, he is his older brother after all, and he bets that he is on his mind all the time, and most importantly, he wants to discover the extent of his strength. Thus, Goku uses his instant transmission to disappear. Goku travels to another dimension and arrives at a strange place covered in darkness by fog. He moved forward a little and suddenly noticed a bold, huge, and familiar person screaming. Kakarot? Does that mean you finally died and ended up in hell? You can't even imagine how long I've been looking forward to this day. I'll make sure you are tortured here for every bone you break in my body. Goku wasn't bothered and answered politely. Wow, that's you. I'm not actually dead. I'm just in visiting. I forgot your name but you were the guy I tested with the Kaioken technique for the first time. It was beautiful days. Sorry I went a little overboard and paralyzed you. But at least I didn't kill you. I'm now looking for my older brother Raditz. Where is he? Nappa still angry, and stared at Kakarot as he said. I don't care about your stupidity. I'm not stupid. If Vegeta couldn't kill you, now you're probably still superior to me by a certain margin in strength. But this little trick won't work, I'm glad you want to see him, it would be right for you to be exterminated by your brother, he has no idea who you are. You mess with your decisions. Raditz is the new king of the Scions and you will die at his hands. At this moment, a strong mysterious person silently emerged from the darkness and said, Nappa, I know it's Kakarot, do you really think I wouldn't recognize my weak pathetic brother? Welcome Kakarot, how nice of you to visit me after a whole 30 years. Goku looked at Raditz with sharp looks, 
then remembered the days when his brother invaded planet Earth and put his son Gohan in danger and also caused his death, which made him regain negative memories, but he forgetting that, and this is because he came to visit his brother and know his level of strength. What brings you here my dear brother? I don't seem to be able to see your little green friend. Tell me that you came here alone because of your death. How could you allow yourself to forget me and deprive that child of yours of his poor uncle rotting in hell all these years? What a terrible brother Kaka wrote. In fact Raditz, I did not expect that you would treat me like this. You should have at least appreciated this visit. I came to see you, and what matters most is your strength. If you are actually someone who is proud of himself and claims that he does not allow anyone to insult him, then you must have achieved a level that I can be satisfied with. Come on, show me your strength now. What do you say Kakarot? Are you confident in what you are saying? First, you must know that this place is not difficult. All I can do in this area is training. I used every second to increase my strength. All of this is just to restore respect to myself. You have now reaped humiliation on yourself by saying this. Now let go of emotion and now see who I am. At this moment, Raditz increased his strength to the level of Super Saiyan, and he laughed at that time because he was confident and believed that Goku had not achieved this transformation. Nappa began to laugh in this regard and mocked Goku because he had come to the wrong place, according to Nappa's belief. But Goku however did not laugh. He was not actually happy with this, and that is in short, because his brother had disappointed Goku, who thought he had achieved a terrible level, and he expressed this. But is this what you were warning me about? You must be hiding something or you are trying to deceive me. You cannot have spent all this time in hell without rest and claim that you have reached the level of Super Saiyan. Just look at this Raditz. Meanwhile, Goku also moved to the Super level just to prove that he was right and that he was actually not surprised by his older brother's strength. Raditz and Nappa were shocked at this time and began to stutter as he did not believe that Goku had reached the level of Super Saiyan either, but the fun did not stop yet. Goku targeted Super Saiyan level 3, which resembles Raditz's form, although Raditz has not yet achieved this transformation. But what is this that I see now Kakarot? This is not possible, where did you get this transformation? I can't believe you have reached the legend of Super Saiyan as well. Maybe there is a trick, there must be something you are hiding from us Kakarot. Forget the empty talk. I claim that I came to test your strength, and I would not have come if I had not guaranteed myself safety. This is because I am confident that you will not be able to reach me or harm me. At this moment, Raditz felt ridiculous and could no longer believe what was happening. In return, he attacked with super level force, screaming and intending to hit Goku and punch him hard to finish him off. After he did this, Goku disappeared from sight, then appeared behind Nappa, making Nappa tremble and afraid that he would receive the same torment he received after he died on planet Earth. Everyone seemed to be trembling at this moment. Raditz was not satisfied at this moment. He started screaming forcefully and increased his strength to such an extent that the entire place began to shake. Meanwhile, Goku was calm and maintaining his stability, because in short he did not want to harm his brother. He was trying to please his brother that he was stronger than him and that he did not come to enmity and awaken strife. Raditz tried to attack for the second time, and as soon as he did that, Goku leveled up from Super Saiyan Blue to Ultra Instinct. Raditz then stopped on his own and began to tremble after feeling an unusual strength from Goku. Okay, that's enough. I think you've done everything you can. There's no need to complete this fight. I want you to come with me. I have a big surprise for you. In fact, I have become the property of everyone and I can revive you both, but on the condition that I want you to refrain from your evil deeds, and I promise that you will obtain a very strong level. What you have seen from me now is only the beginning. I still hide a lot, and what I have shown is only 1% of it. My overall strength. The two were shocked and did not utter a word. All they did was that they followed Goku, and this was because they saw their interest in Goku's decision. Thus, Goku came out and got them out of hell, and at that exact moment, a man and a woman were observing this event from a distance and did not intervene at all, how will Vegeta interact with Raditz and Goku's family after they see that Raditz who herded Gohan, has returned to life? This is what we will know about in the next episode, but on the condition that I want you to answer this question, who are the two people who were watching Goku in the heart of hell? If you know their names, write them in the comment, I promise that I will upload the second episode of this story. By the way, 
you can watch this story that will now appear on the screen. It is a very wonderful story and I recommend it to you. Thank you for your support and I will see you soon.